Is this a beginner bike? Probably not. I wouldn't say so. If I'm not mistaken, this is where they filmed Top Gun. The scene where he's riding on the motorcycle alongside the airplane. What is up YouTube? It's Ricky Bobber. I'm on a Challenger. This thing is, this thing rides like a boat, man. I wasn't sure I was gonna ride this, but I kind of talked myself into it with the help of the gentleman up there. Uh, he's like, yeah, you know, when are you going to get to try one again? I'm like, yeah, you're a good point. <laughs> that's, that's rattling like a son of a bitch, though. But this thing is probably been ridden like a village bicycle. And I'm in fourth, and it's not struggling at all. Where are they going? Going to fifth. I think they're going there. Yeah, they are. Same route as before. Good thing, because uh, I couldn't see them. This compared to the Scout Bobber is uh, much heavier, obviously. Oh man, if I ever go on a, on a long road trip, I am wrenching one of these. And the wind is not even touching my... It's, it's, it's only feel the wind above my nose. Oh, my visor was up. Now I don't feel any wind. <laughs> I don't even really feel like I'm riding a motorcycle. I feel like I'm just sitting and flying wow um the grips are about a little bit the grips are about the same as the chief uh they're a little bit further away than the uh, scout bobber not the grips but the uh the clutch and the brake uh four tags a little bit more forward than the scout i think but i don't mind it let's see how see how well i can put my feet down though Wow, I'm just, I'm coasting. Wow, oop, that was a wide turn. I don't see my speed, I only see the radio station. This here is a land barge. I know, I do feel like I'm on a, on a boat right now. Like a jet ski, kind of. So I wasn't sure if I was going to ride this because I thought it was going to be too crazy big, but no, nah, it's not so bad. But I would recommend it for for long rides. And this is much smoother. It's much smoother than the um, than the Indian Scout Bobber, but I want to say that the Chief Dark Horse Bobber was a little bit smoother than this one. This is cumbersome. cumbersome. Don't drop it, Rick. It's actually very quiet for what it is. Such a big bike is very, very quiet. But it hauls ass, baby. So I was talking to this dude up here. I forget his name. It was like Devin or Jordan or Nathan or something. That's his first time on the Chief. He owns a, a Rebel, a 500cc Rebel. And uh, he just rode the Indian Scout Bobber. He really liked it. Uh, he said he felt more safe on it than he does on his Rebel. Now he's riding the uh, the Chief, and I, I want to. I'm curious to see what he thought about it because I really like the Chief going from the Scout. That's in my other video. If I didn't put these together, brakes are great on this too. By the way, uh, almost missed the almost missed the back brake though. A little farther away than I'm used to. Good thing I didn't have to put my feet down on that one because this thing's heavy. Little California stop. This fairing is rattling like a son of a bitch, though. Floorboards are comfy. I don't know if I put them on the Indian Scout, but very relaxing on your feet. It's just like you're sitting in a chair. Is this a beginner bike? Probably not. I wouldn't say so. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a big nope. Get a lot of balls if this is your first bike. Whew. That had a little spunk on the getup. So, if I'm not mistaken, this is where they filmed Top Gun. 
the scene where he's riding on the motorcycle alongside the airplane, except I'm going in the opposite direction. Okay, compared to the Indian Scout Bobber, the riding position is more comfortable on this. It does help to have the, the better seat. Um, the floorboards help a lot too, but when I'm, uh, you know, when I've got my foot on the peg, uh, it is a little bit more uncomfortable with my legs, because I'm a short dude. But the arms, I'd say my arm position is better than on the Indian Scout, because the Indian Scout, you're hunched forward. I'm sitting how I would sit in a lounge chair right now, or like an office chair or something. The chief, my arms are about shoulder height, just slightly below shoulder height, and I felt like that was the most comfortable for me. Uh, so I'm glad I got to do that today too, because uh, now I can really consider doing higher bars. I wouldn't want to just pull the trigger without never trying it. So this is giving me, okay, yeah, this is where, this is where they did the top gun thing. Um, but the other direction, it was, I'm going north, he was going south. I'm gonna fit. See, I don't really even need to go on six, I feel like. Look how badass it looks in my shadow. <laughs> the flying lazy boy. So I rode the Chief today, and I rode the, this being the Challenger Dark Horse. Okay, I rode the Chief Dark Horse Bobber, and now the Challenger Dark Horse. And out of the two, my favorite is the Chief. Um, I, I do like that this Challenger is also liquid cooled. Um, however, the Chief is not, and that is one of the reasons why I went with Indian. But it's a pretty slick bike. Uh, very comfortable and very smooth, and that thing's probably ridden a bunch too. Yeah, this ride was lo much longer than the other one. Why is it doing that? I couldn't get, I couldn't downshift. There we go. Huh, weird. Garbage man is on his phone. I'm not a huge Star Trek guy, but this looks like somebody. I'll put up a picture right here. It looks like Homeboy from Star Trek. Now the only thing I'm really worried about is doing that U-turn getting back into the parking lot. Also very clunky clutch. My back brake is way up there. Especially when you're resting your feet on the foot pegs, or the foot boards. It feels really far away. So thank you very much Indian Motorcycle for having these demo days. You know, let's you go out and buy, ride a bunch of them. Without any kind of commitment of buying a new one, they just let you ride them. Like, how else are you gonna know if you want something down the road? It's pretty cool that they do that. Would I consider it a Challenger? Probably not to own, but I would consider it for pers uh, possibly renting it out for like a long trip. Um, I would also do so on the Chief if it had um, like a, a windshield. Um, this, I'm not feeling the wind at all. Let's, I don't know what he's signaled right now. U turn? Oh, yeah, he did. Oh. oh. Yikes. <laughs> it was a pretty wide turn. Um, a little sketch for me because uh, it's so heavy. Usually when I turn, when I U turn on my Indian Scout Bobber, um, I, I let gravity do it a little bit. I let it fall over a little bit and then accelerate through that. Um, this one's a little sketchy doing that because it's so damn heavy. This is a dad bike for sure, but it's a pretty badass dad bike. It's like, it's like black New Balances. <laughs> okay, now we're going the direction that they did in Top Gun. Chase, this is for you, buddy. Whiskey Chaser, I know you're a huge Top Gun fan. So, another thing here, it's... I haven't even thought about the shocks because that everything's been so damn smooth. I haven't hit anything I'm like, oh, these shocks suck. So no, these shocks do not suck. This is very smooth, and uh, man, I wish my I wish my scout bobber was this was this smooth. But I mean, again, you get what you pay for. Oh, look at that shit. Ooh, nice. Yeah, there's uh, mostly grass right here. I don't know if planes go along the side of that anymore. Kind of a short, I don't know what you call that, short travel on the clutch. Now I can see how people ride like 1,200 miles to somewhere. 
if you're on a bike like this, this seems totally doable. But on the Scout, oh man, that just doesn't feel right yet. So, I mean, you gotta think about how you're gonna be using it. You gotta think about, you know, where you'll be going. You're gonna be doing stuff and go. You're gonna do city stuff. You wanna travel the US. So it's, it's you know, obviously there's different things for different people. Um, if you are looking to travel a lot or go long miles distance, or go long distances, maybe the Indian Scout is not your thing, but I would go for the Chief or the Challenger. Oops. That is the horn. The horn actually sounds like a car. Sound the horn. <laughs> oh, I just changed the radio station also. 96.5, I think that's like Cool Jams. Something like that. I also think that's where they have Christmas music on during Christmas. So I think I'm gonna wrap it up there, folks. So I don't have anything else after this. We're gonna be pulling into the dealership pretty soon. Thank you very much for watching. If you made it this far, please give it a like if you liked this video, for it was informative or you gained anything from this. Uh, if you have anything to say, don't be shy. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. And uh, if you want to see more of this stuff, um, please please go check out a couple more of my videos and uh, hit the old subscribe button. I would really appreciate that. Thanks again for watching, and uh, catch you on the next one. I hope you're the best. Ever. It's a wide turn there. Thanks, man. Yes, I liked it. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. I made it.